Okay, without dilly dallying, let's head off to the forest. Hey everyone, Axon Ronder here, and welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. In the last episode, we talked to an old man, got to know about quests, and we're on our way to the forest after talking to this young gentleman right here, Hamsfitch. Uh, yeah, uh, hello, passerby. Passerby, I'm so glad you happened. Uh, you, I'm so glad you happened along here. I need some help. I was going to ask that gatekeeper over there for his aid, but he's been giving me very strange looks. Ah, he's glaring at me right now. What do I ever do to him? Er, anyway, I need re I really need some sleep powder. I kind of use to make sleep bombs. Five pinches of sleep powder should do. In return, I'll give you $800 and three sleep antidotes. Sure. That's five pinches. Don't forget. Oh boy, that fellow by the gate is staring at me again. Perhaps I have, I have spinach stuck in my teeth. But how do we know a thing like that? A shady request. Nice. How... How do we see your face if it's covered up? You know what? I'm not daily dallying. We've been waiting long enough. This is episode five, I believe, and we haven't gone to the forest yet. We've been doing a shice ton talking, but now it's forest time. We're going to the forest. We're going to explore the ooh flower. We're gonna go explore new and amazing apples. Axton Ronder, the young man who gets distracted easily. We're gonna go explore. Here we go. Nothing can stop us. Nothing. East Grassy Plains. We're finally here. Uh. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll watch this. I don't. This song's in the game, so it shouldn't be anything bad. <laughs> I forget how beautiful this game looks. Oh, look at that. Is that a bear? That is a bear. That is a big... Oh, it's not a bubble. Everybody back away from the bear. <laughs> oh, dearie dear. Is that what I think it is? Yep. That's exactly what I think it is. That's a dragon. That's a big freaking dragon. Big headed dragon, too. Oh... Goodness gracious, look at all that. That's us, that's, that's, that's for them to explore. We got a lot to explore now. So happy. What was that? Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that. The East Grassy Plains, eh? Pretty creative name. These plains look kind of interesting. That's what they should have been named this place. The East Grassy kind of interesting. They got a lot more buzz that way. Let's go see what that pallet knows about the monsters in this area. I... How? He's asleep with his eyes open standing up. Now that, that's talent. Is he sleeping standing up? I thought only horses knew how to do that. Uh, excuse me. Hey there, horse sleeper. Let me report, sir. Wait, you're not Captain Mustang. Where's your mustache? What's going on here? Well, relax, pal. I was just wondering if you could help us a little bit about the grassy plains here. How are you talking? Your mouth isn't even moving. Do you even have a mouth? Or are you doing this with your mind? Am I hearing your thoughts? Get out of my head! This one seems to be a bit overworked or high strung or something. Maybe we're better off on our own. Don't go. Sorry. I'm tired. I just need a moment. Welcome to East Grassy Plains. Can I help you? Of course I can. Let me give you a brief in introduction to the one to one of Rivera's most sacred natural areas. Field control. Press A to attack. Field controls. Press Y to switch to your focus. Press B to run. And press A press A to gather stuff. Simple. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I did it. I told you everything I know. I just need to sleep now. You can go around gathering stuff too. I found this earlier, just take it and leave me be, please. I just burped, sorry about that. Are you sure you don't want it? Just take it. I don't have the energy to argue. I can not get. It. I can always get more if I need it. I'm pretty much stuck here. It's not like I can go anywhere else or do anything else. 
It's not, it's not a bad gig, though. It's peaceful around here. None of those monsters are all that mean. It's a great place for beginners to get experience. It would be great. It would be a gathering materials or in battle. Things, but things get interesting or intense after dark. The aggressive monsters come out and people sleep. Any questions? Others oh, so sleepy. Yeah, I have a question. Are there any monsters that might eat butterflies out there? Yes, I think they all would, given the chance. <laughs> Is that all? Because if we're done, I could just... I'm sorry about that fish, sir. Oh, you're still... What is wrong with you? Okay. That reminds me. Don't attack the nap dragon. Don't ask me why. Just don't. We don't bother it, and it doesn't bother us. That's the deal. Good to know. Once you're feeling a little more confident, you can head up to Mount Snow Peak. If you ever want to return to Castel, just let me know, and I can escort you there. That's definitely everything. Now, please, just for a love of Reveria, let me sleep. Okay, so that was interesting. I got enough information to actually explore the region. So, pretty simple. You get to run around, you get to do anything you want. I don't think I have a weapon equipped. Do I? Oh, yes, a small dagger. I was actually scared there. I thought I didn't have anything. There we go. So, just go and attack in anything you can find. Keep in mind, though, you do have HP to... To uh, keep to watch out for, so keep that in mind. We got ourselves some mutton, perfect for what we're cooking. Well, we're gonna save all the cooking when we actually start doing our cook life. Well, that's uh, that's one thing. And as you can see, there's trees here, and there's also animals. Make sure when you're attacking these animals, you would, you would try to attack everything, but be careful because there are some animals that are extremely tanky, and you don't want to get crossed between them because then you're gonna end up passing out, and things are not things are not pretty. And we got ourselves some dosh right there, seven doshes. And we got took four points of damage. But we do have some HP stuff that we can use to recover. But keep in mind of your HP. I know these and so on occasion they will drop HP like those little bubbles. Uh, I think if we go up to this tree, I don't know if at, at pressing A will activate your weapon, but just be careful. When you're doing that. If we go up here, I think... Yeah, we get some grassland honey. Really good to have. And that's not a tree you can cut down. There are certain trees you can cut down, so keep that in mind. I have to go around and pick up everything. Because, like, everybody needs something. Either be red bells or s stuff like that. There's a little post right here. If you talk to this young man, he'll tell you. You might want to focus on improving your life. Working up your life and then come back. Who knows? This bitch might miraculously be open then. That's true, yeah. You gotta focus on butterflies things for a while in order to start actually progressing to places like that. So, right now it's just focus in this area. No, come on. There we go. So, try to find a sweet spot when it comes to these trees. Should be around here somewhere. If you can't find it by the time you get to it, it's not a big deal, just... Uh, it wouldn't matter. As long as you manage to do an excellent, it should just give you the the three oak logs. And it's really good to have. Try to collect as much as you can. And keep a really good eye. Oh, look, there's wolves there. Keep an eye out on your SP meter because you're going to be using it for everything. Running, hitting, everything. And you don't want to uh, waste it all. So please keep an, eye, keep an eye out when you're doing that. And as you can see, there's grasshoppers on the floor. And if you remember, we have to rescue, we have not rescue, but get a royal grasshopper from Tim, for Tim. And I don't, I don't know if we picked one up. I didn't see what that last one was. Oh, also watch out for these wolves. These wolves, if I remember correctly, yeah, they do a lot of freaking damage on you. So keep that in mind. Shoot, I don't even know if I'm going to, yeah, we're not going to tackle these guys. We do need to tackle these guys for their uh, leather or for their, their hide because we need their hide to get. Uh, uh oh, to get leather. Was oh, that a royal grasshopper? No, you fool! Get the, get the grasshopper. We we need the grasshopper. Oh no! Nope, just a common. All that for nothing. Uh, let's see. And on occasions there is, there it is. There are some treasure chests that you can find. Usually they'll have some good stuff. Let's see what this one has. Sleep antidote. Ooh, 
Nice. I know that guy wanted one. And you can see right there, there's a there's a bandit. Currently, we're not strong enough to handle those guys, so try to stay away from these bigger dudes in the beginning. As much as I would love to say, like, oh, yeah, go tackle them. It, like, you really got to be careful with these areas. Because, look at me, I'm already at 9 HP. I'm already about to keel over. Ah, suckers. So, it's good to gather this stuff right now. And this region right here where I'm in, as soon as you cross this little arch, that's when things kind of get a little bit more annoying. So, oh, never mind. Forget what I said. Forget whatever I said. Oh, goodness gracious. Ugh. Okay. So... I think this is a good spot for me to actually go to my items. Uh, let's pop one of these bad boys. Oh yeah. Now we're rocking. Occasionally you'll find some heal weeds. Pretty good to have. They're, they'll do, I think, half the HP. So keep those in mind. You can use them to heal and you can also use them to... Oh, there's a sweet spot. You could also use them to, like, um, use to make potions. That's what I'm trying to say. There we are. On occasions, you'll get antidote berries instead of the logs. Well, because they, they have berries, so keep that in mind. There's a little red butterfly you can take here. There's another tree. No. No. There it is. I like to hit around it at first, like this. And then, like, as soon as I get to the lowest, I go back to the sweet spot. And then I just go crazy there. That way I'm able to get all of the the things without having to worry about it too much. These right here are copper deposits. If we had the miner's life, we could actually get these. But at the moment, we cannot. Let's come over here. You'll see more caterpillars. And you'll come across a cave. This cave is perfect for mining. If you ever want to mine, that's a cave you want to go to. Because they have some rare jewels there. Not really much point in me going in there. Because, well, I don't have any mining tools. That right there is a boss if you want to fight. Uh, maybe we can take him down. Let's see. He just bitch slapped me like we're not going after that dude. Oh my gosh. Those are where you get carrots, though. Fun fact. You do eat those guys. Ooh. But, yeah, be careful with that. You, you will get slapped by carrots. Got another tree right here. Those are... The, the ostriches over there are pretty much docile. So it's fair game when you're getting them. Oh, dear. I should have kept track of my SP. I think I should have enough... I don't know what it... I think it's 10. Should I wait for 10? I'm just gonna wait for 10. <laughs> so that's pretty much the forest area. There's more to this. There's a lot, a lot more to this. But at the moment, like... Perfect. At the moment, we can't go through everything because we're a little bit on the underleveled side. We're, uh, we're underleveled. And we're undergeared. Damn you. Uh, did you see that? He almost crushed me with his freaking mallet. So, keep in mind when you're going exploring this area because you will get knocked the heck out. You can see the dragon right there, too. You can you can capture him if you fight him. Like, if you go over here... I think if you go over here, we come across uh, one of the regions we can go to. But we're not going to go there just yet. Just for the fact that these guys right here will put us to shame by kicking our butts. That's pretty much the entire forest area. Uh, there's some more areas, but... We have to progress through more of the story to get there. Oh, look, a giant egg. I think we needed just one, right? Maybe we can go turn in that quest for that for Gramps. I think that he wanted the giant egg. Let me go check one more time if there's any more trees. Uh, oh. Is this it? Is this it? Darn it. It's, it's very rare to get... A royal grasshopper. If I remember correctly, I think they appear more at night. I could be wrong on that. But at night, that's like, as the guard said, that's when things actually get a little bit more crazier. Stronger monsters appear and, oh goodness gracious, does it get annoying. 
I made a mistake one time when I was playing this game, and I went I went at night thinking like, oh, I could handle it, because I was uh I was able to take things off during the day. At night time, that's when things like start really going crazy at you. Bigger monsters start appearing, occasionally ghosts. Not joking about that, and they really really will beat you down. So please be careful when you're doing that. But I don't I do know that certain items appear only at night time. So keep that in mind. What's a saving spell? We haven't saved in a hot minute. Okie dokie. That should be all of Butterfly's requests. Hmm, I wanna see what Let's go to our quest logs real quick. What uh, yeah, that's all of our quests. Okay, cool. And I think we have uh we can turn in that big egg quest for Gramps. And we'll see where we go there. I know like we were able to see the forest, and I would really love to show it to you more, but I need to go gather more materials. I need to start the other lives. I won't lie to you, these first couple of episodes... Shoot, I don't even know how long... This playthrough is going to be long, I can tell you that. But I will tell you this, like, the first several episodes will be nothing, probably, but starting lives. I think you just wanted a big egg, right? Yes! You got one big egg, right? Give it to me. Hand it over to the big egg. This will make one gigantic scramble, my friend. Should feed me for days. And we got ourselves a bronze dagger. Really good to have. And we had a thousand dosh. Nice. Ooh, we just completed a quest. And that is how requests work. We make the requests, you fill it, then you get you get your just rewards. Some folks could even ask you to make weapons or furniture for them. You might not even have the necessary life skills when you ask when they ask you, but you can always learn them. You know, just by taking on a new life and then another new life and another. Now, if you find yourself drowning in requests, you can always cancel some of them. Just go into the other requests in the quests menu. Yeah, yeah, just cancel. You know how to cancel. Now, he is telling you, get another life. And we will probably start another life as soon as this episode ends. And we're going to go do it. And the one that we're probably going to do is mining next because that's very essential to have and I can explore that cave and show you what that cave has to offer us because it does have a lot of goodies. Oh, before anything else, before anything else, make sure you equip this. Those four points can really do a lot of difference. Okay, Bis Butterfly. Bliss check. Here we go. Ooh, that one was a hundred. I don't think we can do... Oh man, that'd be great if it was like... If we could have done, um... What is it? Uh, like two levels there. But it's fine. Mm, we already got the dog. We're gonna get the bigger bag because we were really close to maxing out our current bag. And this goes up different levels too. I think it goes up to like 250, so... Pretty, pretty, uh, 200 or 500, one of the two. After you complete all of the bliss checks, you can talk to Butterfly, and then you get a secret power. <laughs> Do you have a second chat? You must save before you continue with the story. Save progress? Uh, yes, we'll, we'll save. Good choice. Does she talk to you? Okay, the grassy plains was huge, aren't they? So wide and sweeping majestic even. I mean, can you believe it? I can't believe the Guildmaster would do something like Oh, sorry, once I get going, I can't... I guess it's kind of hard for me to stop sometimes. You don't say. But I still think it would be cool to see a massive meteor shower, don't you? Okay, every time she ends something like this, that's what's gonna appear. I'm not joking. Every time she says that, she could be saying like, Brains could be flying from the sky, and it will happen. That's, that's how scary it is. Are we waiting for something? Okay, there we go. Father, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm doing fine down here, Father. I hope you're not too worried about me. Getting here was a little rough, I gotta say. To be honest, I was feeling a bit down at first. I came down here to Castell for a while, found this curious fountain, and I just spent hours staring at the water. I did a lot of wandering around, but don't worry, I'll be... 
I'm right back on track now. It's all because I managed to find myself a real friend. I'm a real boy. I was. I think things are going go much more smoothly from here on out that I'll have a partner by my side. My voice is finally giving out. That sounded louder than normal. Oh, I thought I f fell. Oh my gosh, it's a Chaos Emerald. What on Reveria is that? Tale of Lunarius. Chapter 1. This is Chapter 1. Five episodes were just about a prequel and getting through our woodcutter life. Oh my goodness. I can already see how many episodes. Awesome. I'm actually really excited. Hey, look. Well, that was terrifying. Are you okay? I think I'm fine. My wings are just a little extra jittery. I'm still shaking. I mean, look at this. Look at that thing. What do you think that is? According to my calculations, it should have landed right around... Oh, who are you? Here! Aha! I'm unsurprised, yet nevertheless pleased to see I was correct. And that is one big stone. Alright, listen up, soldiers. I want to exercise extreme caution when extracting the stone from the roof. It may be hot, it may be cold, we don't know what it is, but we do know we need to get up and get it. That's my house! Sheesh, who's the guy's bossing the bossy Nova? You there! I take you're the resident of this domicile? Such a fortuitous event, you must feel so lucky. I titter with glee to imagine if an actual doom- a doomstone were to crash on my roof. Eh, ah, always a bridesmaid. Seriously? Professor Hughes, sir, I have exercise- <laughs> Exercise, I the, I mean, I have extracted the... I pulled the stone out of the roof, sir. Good work, soldier. Now, if you please see it back to castle intact. Oh, and by the way, don't go thinking that just because something crashed in your roof, it belongs to you. We don't live in that type of society. That doomstone will be studied for the good of all Riveria. So don't bother straining your little cerebrum over this any of this. I'm sure you're looking forward to my findings. Good day. Thanks so much for your company. What a jerk. Excellent. What about Pam? Is she okay? Oh my, what's going on here? Are you two alright? We're fine, but we've got some bad news for you. Yeah, no joke. It's a hole in the roof. Oh, I've already heard about the giant rock or something fell on the roof. I was so worried about you. I came here running right away. I'm so glad you weren't harmed. I wouldn't have forgiven myself. Please, I, I let my liability assurance lapse so you can imagine my relief. Wow, good for you. That hole is actually kind of nice. It would give you a nice view of Lunarius while you were sleeping. Or not. I'll get a carpenter up here to patch it up right away. That girl, she wasn't up there on the roof when she stone fell, was she? What? That girl, the one that's who's always up there talking to the stars. I thought she was a friend of yours. Have you seen her, Butterfly? I have no idea who you're talking about, Pam. Sorry. I wonder if she heard anything to do with all this. But how, I mean? What was that thing? Oh, it must have been one of those doomstones. Strange. It seems we've been getting more and more of those lately. Wait, so though, so this is a common occurrence? Oh no, to the contrary. That's why it's so odd. I guess another one just landed somewhere out in the plains. Actually, we should go check this out before the, the huge jerk gets to it. Thanks for your hot tip. Thanks for the hot tip, Pam. Of course, I'm usually good at getting information. Keeping it myself is a different story, though. Yeah, better run now before the doomstone is carved away to the castle. Let's fly. Oh boy. Did you hear that, Butch? I sure did, bro. Just goes to show what kind of frisk you run if we don't pay your insurance. Just goes to show what kind of risk you run if you don't pay your insurance premiums. Who cares about premiums and button ears? There's a second doomstone somewhere out there in the grassy plains. Oh, that part. Yeah, yeah, I heard that part. That Professor Huge may be the creepiest intellectual I've ever seen. He was leering over that doomstone if he were in love with it or something. But his weakness may be to our advantage. Let's make that doomstone love Hughes too! I hope we can do that, bro. I heard them stones can be kind of piggy about the company. Butch, I feared you wouldn't be able to keep up with my train of thought. You have not disappointed me. I'll try to keep... I'll try not... I'll, cheat. I'll try to keep not disappointing you, bro. But I can't make any guarantees. Come now, Butch. Let's get to that Doomstone. Doomstone, huh? Now, who's that? Looks like the story is picking up, huh? 
And we got five minutes to get there. Let's go. I'm glad to see things are finally picking up around. Oh, the story is... I, I do like the story, but I'm glad things are kind of getting more fast-paced. Let's say, by the way. Okie dokie. Let's -a go. Back to the wild plant. Back to the grassy plains. Ooh, more apples. I love picking up stuff. So much stuff for me to pick up. Now, if you feel like you're getting over encumbered, you can always go to your wardrobe and drop off the stuff. It's uh, not a big issue. You there. Olga. Me? Where? Did you hear someone shouting or my antenna's on the fritz? You didn't see me. You did see me. But I did see you. Um, okay. You there, did you see a blue-capped urchin? I mean, have you seen an oh-so-charming yet s much too fast for his own good young boy? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, I don't know if I saw him. The one you're looking for, that is. But there was a blur of a blue cap that ran past us towards the town. Isn't that right, Axton? Wink. Thanks for the information, and clear that dust mount out of your eye. You heard the talking about a fly. Back to the town, boys. Sir, yes, sir, mustache -er. Mustache? Is that really his name? Okay, they're gone. Thank you. Those two men were r quite rude. I shudder to know what transpired had they found me. Oh, wait a second. It's you. I saw you earlier in the town square. What are you doing? No, wait. Don't tell me. I'm quite good at this. You're out here picking apples. Well, you're not wrong. Not quite. We're looking for the... Oh, no, no, no. Tell me. You're out here gathering dandelion puffs to make w an eye pillow for a relative. Oh, no, wait. You're collecting donations for the Talking Insects Actually, Annual Bro... Bro, she heard of it. It breaks my heart to stop you. <laughs> Actually, we're looking for a doomstone. Isn't that right, Axton? Oh, splendid. That's what I'm doing here, too. I'm sure we won't mind if I join up with you. Uh, well, you see, I guess... I mean, it doesn't sound like we have much of a choice. Oh, a butterfly with a dry wet. How unique. Whew, thank you for helping me, Axton. Is it? Well, shall we continue our search? The boy joined your group. Fantastic. Okay, we got two minutes. Come on. Let's go, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Was that a person outline right there? Can you confirm that the Stone of Doom was sighted in this location, Squire? Sure I can. You mean the Doomstone, right? It's over there. But I may ask, whose authority are you two here? Oh, that's an easy one. Me and my bro just sent here on us authority. See, my bro is quite estimated in his profession. So we'll just be taking that stone if you don't mind. Just let me do the talking. You used to stand there and stick your chin out quietly. My good man, we are scholars under the tutelage of Professor Hughes. I'm actually the professor's right-hand man, Pierre. And I'm his left-hand man, Butch. We've been under the professor's tutelage age ever since last week. Oh, really? Is that right? So Professor Hughes just sent the two of you to take this extremely heavy doomstone back to the castle? Yeah, well, he wanted to send more guys, but we told him we got it. That's very dutiful of you. Very well. Then you may help me pull the doomstone out of the ground first. Phew, that thing weighs a ton. And I got glowing stuff all over my hands. Bro, this stone's all dirty and it kind of stinks like rotten eggs. Are you sure it's really a treasure? Did you say this was a treasure? Oh, no, 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 my good man. My brother just said that serving Professor Hughes was a singular pleasure. And that he's excited to measure the stone. And we're done here. He's hoping for some leisure. Oh, he said all that just now? I thought he said something about treasure. Well, just be careful with it. It's for research, after all. Oh, of course. Me to keep flapping your lips, cabbage head. You nearly blew the whole plan. Sorry, bro, I didn't mean to. Wait, what plan? The plan where we secure the doomstone for ourselves and sell it to Hughes for a fortune. But first things first, we need to stash it somewhere we can talk to Hughes. Remember the cave we found earlier? That would be a perfect place to hide this for the time being. My scheme is almost too immaculate. Yeah, and you're, you made a good plan too. Cave, huh? I wonder if it's that one cave that... Uh... So where exactly is the doomstone supposed to have fallen? It should be pallet and stationed across the grassy plains. We could just ask one of them if they've seen anything. 
Oh boy, okay. We're gonna save right here and we're gonna call it because we have reached the 30 minute mark. Things are fine. Things are actually picking up for us. We come across a major stone and hopefully we can see what's the hubbub about. Well, we'll save that for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time and I will see you guys on the next episode of Fantasy Life. Have a great day and I'll... Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.